In my younger and more vulnerable years, I once read a very fascinating novel about life, love, and the pursuit of happiness written in the 20s about the 20s. Hi, I'm Armageddon Time, and I'm here to play my favorite novel of all time, and also a pretty darn good video game called The Great Gatsby. It's kind of for the NES, but not really. It was an online game made uh, to kind of simulate the old-timey, uh, you know, NES-style 8-bit graphics, more so akin to Mega Man when you'll see when we actually get into the game. Now, this is all pre-recorded, so this is my first time into this foray of doing this, so let's just see how it goes, eh? I really like the music here, and I like the design, how they made the, 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 the front art kind of like the book. And then you got the tear and, like, the weird little fair happening there in the background. And yeah, here we go. Press start. We're going to start off at Gatsby's Party, and uh, just like the novel, what do we do in this game? Well, we uh, collect coins and throw our hat, and uh, check out clocks, and yeah, we put on a yellow suit and kill butlers, because that's, that's what the novel was all about, right? Killing butlers? I actually have a pretty interesting story about the butler's nose. Do you want to hear about the butler's nose? I mean, that's why you're watching this LP, right? Ah... Uh, Anyway, oh, it's the uh, Owl-Eyed Man from uh, the library. The drunken Owl-Eyed Man. It's a bonafide piece of printed matter. It fooled me. This fellow's a regular Belasco. It's a triumph. What thoroughness. What realism. Knew when to stop. Two. Didn't cut the page. But what do you want? What do you expect? Look for Gatsby in the garden. See? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, here we go. Going along. Nick Carraway. That's who we're playing as. And uh, as I recall... He really had a thing for that uh, Jordan Baker, the golfer. Uh, and as I recall, he uh, wanted her to uh, yield him up her person, if you know what I mean. Yes. Actually, this this area kind of reminds me of Castlevania, for some reason. Oh, <laughs> you have some... Uh, I don't know what that guy's throwing. It's like a weird lobster boy. Oh, you can eat me for dinner. <laughs> and uh, we have some flappers there. Oh, poor little fools. Because in this cruel world, all uh, all you can be is a beautiful little fool. All girls can be our beautiful little fools. I think that was a line from the book. Please, I hope it was. Otherwise, I'm going to sound like such a misogynist. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is pretty much it. I mean, it's it's fun. It's uh, The uh, control can be kind of wonky because you can only have like one projectile on screen at, at uh, all times, and it's it kind of boomerangs, so you can't, you know, you have to rely, hope that you actually hit your target so that it can ricochet back to you. And yeah, just, and also just like the novel, you know, falling chandeliers and coin collecting, and for some reason we can collect points. Ah, good job, old sport. That's Jake Gatsby himself. Thank you for inviting me to your party. It was very fantastic. I hope the bootlegging, I mean, uh, whatever else goes well. And hey, it's the green light that Gatsby grasps after so much and look at his eyes getting all moist just like what's his face in monster party and he want he wants that green light so bad and everything represents no, holy shit he just disappeared he went all sci-fi and batman on us damn <laughs> on that note we better head to the valley of ashes <laughs> via train ah <laughs> see what i did there via Okay, so we're killing more gangsters. Or I should say gangsters, as uh, that's what they are. And collecting martini glasses, because for some reason, even though uh, alcohol was uh, banned in the 20s, there seemed to uh, the way that movies and uh, history depicts it, there was far more floating around then than pretty much any other time in the 20th century. And I don't know what the birds are, why birds want to attack us. Why does everybody want to hurt Nick Carraway anyway? He's just like a no nonsense, you know, kind of every man. You know, just a bondsman, a veteran of World War One, just hanging out. You know, uh, re reading, uh, I don't know, Simon called Peter and Town Tattle. What the hell? We got a boss? We have a boss in this game? Oh my God! It's the spectacles, the eyes of Dr. T. J. Eckelberg. I've had to write entire essays about these damn pair of spectacles and what they represent in today's society and society back then. But <laughs> in order to really get at the heart of the matter, all you have to do is uh, hit him with your hat. 
and then end in a very Mega Man-esque pose. And we see all these clothes being strewn about everywhere. I think, uh, yeah, it's Daisy, I think that's, uh, oh God, I hope I got this right, Daisy Buchanan, and there's uh, Jay Gatsby, who loves her so much, but she's in love with Tom, or is she? Her husband, that is. But here we are at New York City. I like the music here. I think uh, they made a good decision in going with a very Mega Man-ish style engine. Because, you know, you can... Oh, yeah, and see, you get hit and you kind of lose your, uh, your very dapper clothing, as they say. And who's this? I think we had enough of this, two-bit town. Girls gotta jump down the sewer to find a drink around here. Good night, Mr. Caraway. See you anon. I think that might be a clue in what's going to happen next. Having to jump down the sewer to find a good drink? Well, you know, bathtub mint juleps seemed to be a popular thing back then. Or I guess back now, to, you know, whenever this actually does take place. Do 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 do. Collecting useless coins. Jumping on fire hydrants for no particular reason. Just in order to get to where the hell I actually gotta go, you know? Jump! Oh, I got hit, but hey, I got my uh, power back. And yeah, let's go down the sewer. To, yes, alligator level. Because <laughs> there are sewers in the alligator, right? I mean, alligators in the sewer. Ugh, I'm getting my merds wixed. Yeah, I don't remember this part of the novel, though, do you? I don't know, uh, not very, like, you know, we go from Valley of the Ashes to, you know, a, like I said before, a level of monster party. But hey, we're back to the butlers. Oh, the, oh my god, and we have gangster, real gangsters with Tommy guns? What the hell is going on? And there's some more f dapper flackers, as I like to say. The only thing a girl can be in this world is a beautiful little fool. I think that's how the actual line went. I don't know, it's been a little while since I've actually read the book, so if there's any facts I'm kind of getting mixed up, maybe post in the comments, you know, uh, what, what the actual uh, line or piece of information is, because, I don't know, I've read this book a couple times, but, you know, yeah, you forget things, jump over, collect that, and oh my god, we have baseball players! I swear it wasn't me that fixed the World Series, it was Gatsby! At least that's what the rumors say! And look at that, we defeated whoever the hell that was. Maybe it was Wolfsheim, who knows. Or, uh, what other names can I drop? Uh, Dan Cody. Oh, and uh, I think that's Gatsby and Daisy in the car there. Yeah, and, uh, oh, they ran into Myrtle, George's wife. Oh, no, so what are we going to do? How are we going to explain this? George's going to go absolutely batshit insane. And there's Tom with a gun. Tom, uh, Daisy's wife, f found out about Gatsby and Daisy and... Boom! Gatsby is dead. Dead as shit. Dead as a water. And there's where at Westgate, West Egg, Westgate, West Egg Beach, just kind of sitting with our thoughts over all the insane craziness that's happened and killing ghosts. Cause uh, Nick Carraway was the original Ghostbuster, apparently. And uh, killing crabs, cause uh, I don't know. Back then, you know, no contraception, so... The crabs got pretty big and out of control, I guess, back then, so... And there's that Castlevania-looking moon. I, I, yeah, I think it's just because it's the moon makes me think of Castlevania. Yeah, killing crabs, because... That's, that's, that's Nick's job on the side, I think. And there's everything we've been looking for. The green light representing everything Jay Gatsby couldn't have in life. Even though he was a successful man and had everything he ever wanted. And now we're doing another Castlevania tribute, I guess, for some reason. Anyway, here's some dialogue. Gatsby believed in the green light. The orgastic future that year by year recedes before us. It eluded us then, but that's no matter. Tomorrow we will run faster, stretch out our arms farther, and one fine morning. So we beat on, boats against the current, born ceaselessly back into the past. Or, born back ceaselessly into the past. Damn it! I fucked it up! Anyway. <laughs> what a very, what a very touching ending. Soiled by my uh, crass... 
uh, vulgarity. I apologize in advance. Anyway, have some credits! <laughs> some, uh, I believe they're made-up credits, because this isn't a real NES game. This is... <laughs> story F. Scott Fitzgerald is pretty funny. But yeah, this isn't a real NES game. It, this was, uh... I did this online. Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, you go to gatsbygame.com G-A-T-S-B-Y-G-A-M-E dot com and, uh, or just, just Google it, I guess, or something. And you can find this game. And it is very enjoyable. It's fun, it's short, you know, kills maybe ten minutes. And, uh, I did notice I didn't actually die. I might have gotten hit, but I never actually died. And if you can beat this without dying, you get an extra little bonus scene at the end, which you'll get to see. Because I care about you people so much, you know. Oh, look at that. Special thanks, Enough King. <laughs> Kijay Unafune's, uh, surname or whatever. And Bun Bun for the music. Also, uh, a, lot, a lot of Mega Man name dropping here. Fujimoto, that doesn't really ring any bells. Not so much. But, ah, uh, well, what are you going to do? So, uh, oh, the end. Congratulations. Thank you for play. English. What would an old NES game be without some English? At least one instance of English. It just, it just completes everything. It brings it all together. It centers it. And speaking of centering, look at, uh, look at Nick Carraway there, just sitting there with his thoughts. As he gets on the train, off the train. Yeah, I, th he's, I think he's heading back to the Midwest to just reflect on all the absolute insanity that happened in West Egg. Because the end. Oh, how touching. Because after everything, goodness, you gotta rest. Anyway, this is Armageddon Time, and thank you for watching The Great Gatsby. See you next time.